time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where your voices have been heard. I've been getting messages for a while now saying that my voice is overly shrill and um, piercing sometimes and hard to listen to. So I'm going to really make an attempt um, to please all the complainers uh, to modulate my voice and try to speak more from the diaphragm um, and really try to be more aware of the quality of sound that I am producing so that people can feel more um, comfortable uh, participating with and enjoying the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where we are currently playing Neanderthal. So don't be alarmed, I'm going to be, this is going to be a process for me like everything else. I'm going to have to tinker with it here and there to try to get the, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not used to speaking uh, deeper. Uh, I, I just kind of fallen into that shrillness uh, through inattentiveness and the sloppiness and it's wrong of me and I'm sorry. I'm going to try much harder. Our primal self-communication seem to have been inverse, perhaps dactylic hexameter. So of course that's going to mean we put forth a new biome in the south that's going to replace the one of lowest climax, which is our Irish elk. They are going to go north. Now since there's ice in the north, this uh, normally this would replace whatever this card is, but since there's ice there, the Irish elk are gone, and we turn over the ice because it melts. Things have gotten warmer. All right, now let's look at the rest. We're going to have to roll some dice here, and I think, nope, she hasn't married her weather whisperer yet, so her fire, fire starter is not um, immune, nor is Danimal. Oh, he's fine though. Nor is Sid. All right. No elders were lost. Um, I forget what that does. Let's see. Blizzard every 200. Okay, yeah. I think everyone's supported. They've got a lot of um, unassigned hunters and not that many dependents, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we are going to auction off the singing woman daughter. Uh, your courtship role always succeed. So that one is going to be particularly attractive, I think, to Kaz and Kat because she's very into pair bonding. She likes to have husbands, as you can see by her high husband point total. Um, so I think she's going to, and, and also it's not going to be hard for her to get rid of the orange that she is required to use to bid on this. So I, uh, because she has it in her brain. So I think she's probably going to bid pretty high. She'll probably take it. Um, the question is, at what cost? Now she doesn't win bidding ties here, so if Danimal wanted to bid her up to four, he could because he's got he's got four, and she can't oh, she can't outbid that. Sid can only bid up to three, so we'll just have to see what happens. Let's do this auction, shall we? We shall. And Cat takes it for three. Danimal didn't want to bid too high since he's um, running short on vocabulary to support. His, um, his people in case a, a potential chaos comes around. So now we're going to assign cubes, then we'll move forth and proceed with play. Okay, we have our cubes assigned and we're seeing the start of some contention here. Uh, we have contention here and contention here where Sid is trying to marry a couple of daughters. Now, since she's promiscuous, Sid's cubes will not actually marry the daughters. Instead, they will um, create a, a wandering cube in the other person's camp that that person has to support, um, but they count as points for her at the end of the game, provided they stay out in there. So it's a way to kind of get, get cubes out there without having to worry about supporting them with your own vocabulary, which is problematic for pr the promiscuous type people because they have a lot of their vocabulary tied up in their own promiscuity. Uh, we also see up here, there's contention over this horse. Uh, the reason why, uh, well, Danimal went there first. He wanted to get, he wanted to knock off an orange and a black because he's got an orange and a black horse, orange and black. Kaz and Kat's in the same place. She's got a, a fire carrier she would like to free up, and she'd also like to start freeing up the singing woman and her husband here. She uh, she has a husband for um, the weather whisper, just like Danimal has a husband for the Vigilant Woman. Neither of those are mature yet, so they need to have cubes underneath. So let's go ahead and do our attacks. 
After a vicious round of rolling, our only casualty was the Weather Whisper's immature husband. Now we will go forth and do things such as courtship and hunting and things of, of that nature. Sid's finally started to see some success. She got um, this um, hafted point here, and she also successfully got one of her, her babies to live with the vocal crow magnons. So that's pretty nice for her. We'll move on to Danimal now. Actually, we'll just do his roll. He only has one roll to make. Might as well do it on camera. It's exciting to see rolling dice on camera. Nice to watch that on the internet. Here we go. Okay. So... He wasn't, he didn't get four of a kind, we can tell that. He did not successfully hunt the horse, despite having seven there. He just needed two ones or twos. It didn't work. All right, we'll go ahead and do Kaz and Cat now. Maybe we should get something good this turn. And yep, she did it. it looks like Kaz and Cat has successfully hunted the horse. And that is going to be really nice for her because not only is she, actually the downside is she's going to get three babies. She probably doesn't want that, especially now that she has this extra little Sid cube sitting around. But she's going to get rid of a couple of discs too, so that'll help balance things out. And during her elder action phase, she can take off another one of these. So now she only has one left to get her singing woman out there. But then she has to marry it, the singing woman in order for it to work because remember, she's pair bonding. She has to have her daughters married for them to do anything at all. So I got a little bit of bad news, but also some good news to go with it. The bad news is that it's been about a week and a half in between like the last shot that I just shot and now I have so little time in which to do this or else I'm, I have enough time and I'm managing it poorly. And I think actually that's the way to think about it. I need to think of a way to manage my time better in order to make this happen because you know, even the, the, the it was been months uh, between the, the last game I played and Neanderthal, and I was like weeks between chances to even record. So I gotta make more chances happen. The good news is I have one of those chances right now, and I'm gonna sink my teeth into it and try to be more sonorous and continue with this Neanderthal. I just have to figure out what's going on because I think I played a little bit off camera, but I don't think too much. So I was just like, well, maybe, because sometimes I can I can play, but I can't talk because people are sleeping. So let's do a little de let's do a little detective work. So if you look here, we have Danimal's play area. There's also this card here, but that's usually where I put the new card that came up. So I'm guessing what I did was just turn over the card, do the event which, yes, I'm remembering this now. I did do the event. I don't think they did the auctioning, which would make sense that I would stop myself from doing the auctioning uh, when doing it off camera, because that's just so unpleasant anyway. So why would I do it on, you know, if, if, I, if I have a reason to wait, be like, oh, well, I should probably do this on camera. Let's hold off on doing the auctioning until later. So now it's later and we will do the auctioning. What does this do? This is the Animal Whisperer Paintress one less die is needed for domestication success. Now that's a very nice card. I, I expect to see the, the bids fly through the roof on this one because domestic animals are worth four points and they're kind of hard to get, right? Like, so if you want to domesticate this horse, you got to get four of a kind and then you got to do some other stuff, have some elder um, later on in order to put it down. So, that's kind of tricky. So, but this would make it much less tricky. Three of a kind is a lot easier than four of a kind. It's less. Okay, Danimal went in big with four, outbidding Kaz and Cat, who bid three. She would have won ties. So if she had gone up to four, maybe he would have backed down. He can, he can, it'll take him a while to recuperate from this, but there are a lot of things that get rid of black and white chips, which are the colors on here. Problem is, is well, I actually haven't even assessed it. Let's take a look up here. So this might be a good bet because it gets rid of a black and a white and he only needs two successes. He doesn't have a lot of hunters available and he's going to want, he's going to only have six. Um, what else is up there? Black and white, black and white. Oh, or you could just look for black too because he can get rid of whites naturally with his, his bison brain. Um, yeah, so there's that horse. The horse would be nice to, to catch because he would be also get rid of that orange there. So he has some options. He has some options. 
Sid is in desperate need of a daughter. She has not much to do until she gets one, mainly because a lot of what you're doing out there is getting either babies or getting removing chips off of uh, daughters or elders. Now, she's not able to get any more elders because she needs more uh, portals in her brain in order to do that, and she's not getting any daughters because she keeps losing the bid, partially because her, her vocabulary is so tied up in being promiscuous. Maybe what she wants to do is not worry so much about um, chaos and just bid high if she has to to get a daughter. So she has something to do. Otherwise, her hunters are just sitting around. She's got a couple out courting, and maybe she'll be able to court with more later on because um, as these other daughters become mature and marriageable. But um, let's see what else is going on. We have some horse action here. This is this yellow one. I should put a cube on top of it to show that that's a guest worker. Um, and then Daniel hasn't picked what he's doing yet. So we kind of went over some of his options briefly before. Uh, he's all right, there we have it. He's going to focus his, his forces on the red deer and also on trying to get a weather whisper over here to be his his mate. Um, he, Danimal was really riding close to chaos here. I mean, he's, he's, he's over the edge, so he's kind of hoping maybe this guy dies, so that's not even an issue. Um, Kaz and Kat is going to do her roles first for fighting, because she has the most black discs, the most metal vocabulary. She fails there. She'll try here now. Bloop fails there. Um, next up will be, looks like Sid goes next. Nope, she fails. And then Dan, uh, she'll, she'll do it here. They have to get a one. And she did. So she has to decide who she wants to kill here. Does she want to kill Kaz and Cat or Danimal? Um... She went for Kaz Cube because she feels like Kaz doing better. So now, to be clear, that doesn't mean she she's successful at the courtship yet. That's going to happen in the next phase. Um, I think. Oh, and now uh, Danimal gets to actually. You know what? Since Danimal still still gets to roll, I think she would probably choose him. That does kind of help him out because he gets that disc back. So he's not as close to chaos now. All right, now Danimal gets to roll. And he got a two. Now if, yeah, that's not, no, not going to do it. We just saw some very timely matrimony uh, between Kaz and Kat's husband cube, which is really nice for her. She gets three points per husband, unlike, say, um, Danimal, who only gets one point per husband. Um, it's timely because she's hunting the horse. It has this spear icon. That means if she were successful, she would have had to fight a cave bear or a tyrant sea bear, something you don't want to have to fight in order to keep her, her stuff. Um, she was successful, but since she had this lookout woman, this vigilant woman, uh, as part of her extended family, she was able to just be like, oh, hey, there's a tyrant sea bear coming. Get out of the way. And they got out of the way and they were safe. So that, that was really timely for her. It also allowed her to, um, I don't keep on saying cephaloids, but um, get rid of the disc from there. And that's going to make this husband a better protector in the future. So if it, if it can survive courtship here, because if she could get courted away. Sid failed to court. She maybe should have... Uh, killed Kat there. Who knows? You know, there's a, a lot of different ways that could have gone. Um, this uh, this marriage was actually fortunate for Danimal, too, because he didn't have this woman mature yet, the husband mature. So I don't, I don't know if he, yeah, no, he still could have used the ability, so he, he could have avoided the predator attack. Never mind. He's going to go ahead and try his courtship right now, and then you'll get to see the exciting battle between um, the vocal archaic men and the red deer. Um, he failed in that. Now that exciting battle I just hyped for you. Here it comes. Here it comes. Be ready. He needs two ones or twos. And he got two twos and three fives. If this were a domesticatable animal, he would have probably domesticated it with that. Um, he kind of doesn't want all these babies, but maybe he'll be lucky. It's going to be nice to get rid of these. 
So we're about to turn over the next event. Let's first assess how things are going for Kaz and Kat, because they're going really well. She got everything cleared off. She's got vocabulary to spare. She's the only one who really does. Um, Danimal is in danger of chaos. Sid is right on the line here. Um, but she she's going to probably bid anyway. Um, but she's got vocabulary to spare. She's got a mature husband, which means she can use this power. She's got this this daughter mature, but she can't use this power yet until it gets married. But she can do that easily this turn. Um, really, she's just going to... Her big problem is she's just going to have to decide uh, how best to focus her energies to, to totally thrash the others. How things can change. Here we have an event. It is... The oldest known shoes had deer skin insteps. All right, so this is the icy thing. It's probably going to make it icier, and then something else is going to happen, and something else is going to happen, and that that does look like some chaos there. I think I kind of forgot what the icons meant because it's been a while. But well, let's go ahead and look now. All right, we have Verm Glacial. I really like this one because it makes the game longer. Um, it's a fun way to, I, I like this, I think this is a pretty nice mechanism for um, randomly determining game length without having to do weird shuffling mechanisms. Um, you just have some events, add more events to the event deck, that, that's pretty clean. All right, here we have the North Row thing, Global Cooling. All right, it's placed as an ice sheet. So we ha had a couple rounds of Global Warming, now we're going to have some Global Cooling, and that's going to cool this woolly rhinoceros down south there. Boop. That just makes it so there's fewer options for everyone. Um, then chaos. No. Lose half your hunters and one elder. Now, I don't think he has to lose his elder, right? Because he's got the fire starter. He made sure to to um, mature that right away because he would, knew he was in da danger of chaos. Nine. So he's going to have to lose, he's got 11, he's going to have to lose half, but he gets to round down because of that. Oh, wait, am I counting wrong? No, that's nine cubes. He's fine. Gosh, what is wrong with me? What is, I mean, what is wrong with me? I don't want to be insulting, but it's a fairly lame daughter that came up, but Sid really wants to go for it. Cat bit her up to two, and she's going to take it for that. So, it's just... Seems like she's got to have something to do. She doesn't want to keep wasting her turns. And really, having her, her only thing to do, like possibly get a guest worker in someone else's area, is not... Uh, the chances of it are, are so low anyway that it's just not a very compelling uh, path forward. So I'm going to go ahead and assign things. I feel like maybe I've talked too much. Um, need to rest my voice. Uh, do some anyway. All right, got it. All right, and there we have it. We uh, cat um, in this instance didn't really have much to do. She's kind of it's kind of been flipped around. She really just needs to get rid of this orange disc. She if she fails in the hunt, she can just do it anyway with her ability. Though she'd like to use her ability to start putting portals on her brain. Um, but maybe you want to always be trying for that daughter. Uh, no matter what, just to give yourself something to do if you can't put up elders. So anyway, she's got this horde here all going after this tiny little flounder. You can't even see the flounder because they're kind of crowded out. But let's see if we can part the crowd. And there it is, this tiny little flounder right there, um, surrounded by vocal crow magnons. All right, and the animal going after a cave hyena. You can get rid of both of the, these black discs. That would be really nice for him. Um in danger of getting hurt in the process and then Sid sending some courting husbands out um, actually gigolos uh, and then also going after the deer to get off of her discs from her cobbler woman let's go ahead and do these rolls and then I'll probably end the video just just to give you a little personal space a little time to breathe um, let's see a three five ten and she is first yeah yeah Oh, first we gotta do attacks, never mind. Okay, so here, this is a mature husband, so it's gonna be more deadly in combat. It needs a one or a two to beat opponent, and failed. This is an uh, immature husband, so it needs a one, just like everyone else. This is an Im a mature husband, so it needs a one or a two. No, all right, now we will go ahead and do Sid's attacks, failed. 
failed, failed. All right, now we will do the 10 dice up here. Oh, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. <clears throat> That's a little sore. I keep forgetting to you try to be sonorous, and I apologize. I want people to know I am trying. Uh, I just am also failing. All right. So I think she did get the flounder, um, and I'm gonna put this down. Two babies. And an orange disc. All right, now let's do the next. Let's do is Sid next. Yeah, Sid's next. She was. Let's do her husband rolls. Blop. Nope. Oh, and it died. Let's put it up there for now. Husband roll two. Block. It did not die, but it did not court so successfully. Ooh, that's a successful courting. Now, I don't remember if this, this husband stays there or not. It might not. So, normally it would go away, but since it's not actually marrying, it might stay. This, this goes here no matter what, though. So, I'll look that up. All right, so good bad news for Kaz and Kat. Good news is that gets to stay there. Bad news is that, um, it actually, these, these cubes get replaced upon rereading the rule uh, rather than just adding a new yellow cube. So she actually loses one of her own cubes in favor of one of Sid's. Well, Daniel did there, but she did earlier because she has one from before. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying to you. All right, let's continue with the mighty hunt for the red deer. And, you know, she should be doing better because she's the Neanderthal, and that's the name of the game. All right, and she's not doing better. She did not successfully hunt that deer. She successfully did not hunt the deer. All right, the animal, this will do it. Well, no, we'll have a little bit of postscript as people do their elder type actions. That's for you. Cave hyena, this could go either way. And it looks like it went in his favor, definitely. Um, he got a couple of casualties, which he actually likes. So that's fewer mouths to feed. Um, and then he got those two ones, those coveted two ones that he needed to be successful. Oh, he also got three of a kind, so he could he could d domesticate this hyena if he wants. Now, what does he have, a wild boar? That gives him a white and a baby. Oh no, it's a trophy. Yeah, he can trophy, he can hunt it to extinction and he'll go ahead and do that, sure. What, what does he get for trophies? Um, four points, okay, yeah. So, he, he just devastated the, the cave hyena. It's gone. And that doesn't get replaced. Really sad way to go out, but that's, that's the way you go out, you know? Someone eats you, or you don't get eaten. Those are your choices. That's about gonna do it, but let's talk about portals here for a second since I, we're just doing some portals and we wanna end on an uplifting note and nothing is as uplifting as a brain portal. Uh, so, we had an addition of portals here for Kaz and Cat. I expect her to be able to get a, uh, what is it, a trapper soon? Yeah, she'll be, probably be able to get a trapper uh, by the, not next turn, but the turn after that. Uh, because she just needs to put one there, and she can put one there. You have to have one of each color in this zone, okay? So the nature domain would be the trapper. What can the trapper do? I don't know right now. But we can worry about that tomorrow or later. Maybe I'll just do another one later. Or whenever I do one again, maybe next month, we will see how well we do. Um, portals here. And here's you, I mean, p people tend to just think about the special powers when they're bidding. You gotta think about the portals as well. That's kind of the uh, less exciting part. Um, the animal kind of did not get a, well, he didn't get a very good spread on his portals. It's all bison, 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 bison. And that's where he, he starts with one. So really, although he has two daughters, he really can only put down a black disc with them. Um, and he didn't want to do that, however. He could have done it this turn, but then he would have been in danger of chaos. And he doesn't want to go into chaos right now. So he held off on that. Um, we'll see what happens in the future. Sid 
cannot put down any portals yet because she doesn't have a mature daughter. When she does, she will be able to put one down there. So that's, that's not a total loss. Uh, the cobbler woman will be able to do stuff for her.